Good morning my dear students, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great and are absolutely fine. So students, today I welcome you all in this English class. We are very going to learn something new and something very interesting. So let's begin. Okay, so earlier in last class we have talked about vocabulary, alright. So we are study further about vocabulary, alright. So here what is vocabulary? So, first question about vocabulary is what is vocabulary which is the basic one alright. So, let us understand. So, a vocabulary is defined as all the words known and used by a person alright. What vocabulary is? A vocabulary is defined as all the words known and used by a person ok. It refers to the words we know to communicate effectively. It is, it referred to the words we know to communicate effectively, alright. Then, words tell us what to say, alright. Whatever the words is, we called it as a vocabulary. So, they tell us what to say. And with that, grammar tells us how to say, alright. Just focus on these two lines that words only words there is no grammar only just words tells us what to say but when we connect grammar with it it tells us how to say anything to anyone ok while we are communicating clear all right so vocabulary building help in analytical and critical thinking all right Vocabulary building means that if your vocabulary is good, that means your analytical and critical thinking is also good, alright. Okay, so before going forward, let me ask you one simple question and first question of this session. The question is, which of the following words means to examine something very carefully, alright. So, A overlook b scrutinizing c discredited yet d ignore what would be your answer among these four your time starts now which of the following word means to examine something very carefully Alright students time up. So, the answer is option B. Scrutinizing is the right answer for this question or means scrutinizing means to examine something very carefully. Alright, so option B here is the right answer. Very nice students. Let us move forward. Okay. So, vocabulary building is make new word stick. All right. Types of vocabulary. Now understand types of vocabulary. All right. So oral and print. These are the reading, speaking, writing, listening. These are the kind of types of vocabulary. Now let's understand what is productive in vocabulary. Correct. Agree agar dislike these kind of words which we use in our daily life these are the productive english or you can say productive vocabulary all right here receptive receptive is what like rectify in place of correct we say rectify in place of agree we say constant in uh, place of agar we say keen and in place of dislike we called it as a antipathy so these kind of word we use as a professionally all right ok again a question for you all which of the following words means a beginner or something new to a field or activity first veteran b novice c expert d mentor your time starts now question is which of the following word means a beginner 
or something new to a field or activity all right veteran novice expert mentor all right students time up so the right answer for this question is option b novice clear so novice means a beginner or something new right or activity all right so option b here is the right answer okay let's move forward and have a look in the importance of vocabulary so there are points which telling us why vocabulary is important so the first one is there is a strong relationship between vocabulary knowledge and reading comprehension all right there is a strong relationship between vocabulary knowledge and reading comprehension second vocabulary knowledge is strongly related to intelligence what vocabulary knowledge is clearly or strongly related to to intelligence third it aid in expression and communication it aid in expression and communication fourth one is it help us to connect globally like if our vocabulary is good we can communicate with anyone in this world like anyone all right that is why we need to like uh, we have to uh, improvise our vocabulary all right so here are one saying that says like words are tool for both thought and communication it's no surprise that those who master them have a much greater chance of success not only professionally but in their lives as a whole all right knowing the roots so here means that when you want to uh, you know uh, improvise your vocabulary and uh, you know, need to know about the words first you know the roots of that word at least half of the word in english language are derived from greek or latin roots all right they are from greek word or from latin word like here is an example philosophy love of knowledge that means phil means love and sophie means knowledge all right philadelphia city of brotherly love all right and last one is philanthropist love human charity and human kind which means love human charity and human kind so here are some the words like philosophy phil that is sophie phil and sophie philadelphia and philanthropist let's talk about root that is source of that word then the meaning of the word and then english word of that meaning so ester is a greek word comes from greek word that means star that means star and we use english word for ester astronomy and astrology all right clear which mean study about stars clear then let's talk about bene bene is come from latin language that means good or well and english words for bene is benevolent and benefit clear then the third one is jur or just is a latin language or comes from latin word then the meaning of just or jur is law and english word for just or jus is jury and justice jury and justice clear okay all right students again a question for you all what is the meaning of the word indigenous what is the meaning of the word indigenous a foreign b temporary C native or D migratory. Your time starts now. What is the meaning of the word indigenous?
all right students time up so let's see the question now what is the meaning of the word indigenous all right options are foreign temporary native or migratory so the correct meaning of indigenous is option c native all right so option c here is the right answer you can write them in copies as well understanding synonyms and suffix now let's talk about synonyms and suffix all right so prefix it is an affix which is placed before the stem of the word what is prefix is you everyone listen about prefix or suffix right so prefix means it is an affix which is placed before the stem of the word whatever the word is we put a word before the stem of the before the main uh, word we called it as a prefix all right a or an on not or without ab away from ad to or towards mb both ana up back and again anti against apo from or away from auto means self all right and here is the meaning like apathy absence advance amivot anagram antibiotic apostate or automatic these are the prefix all right these are the prefix prefix forming opposite or antonyms of certain word just listen carefully that prefix forming opposite or antonyms of certain words let's have a look un plus fold is unfold then dis plus like is dislike then i am plus mortal is immortal then in plus credible is incredible all right these are what these are the prefix now again a question for you all the question is fill in the blank the sky was filled with dash clouds signaling that a storm was approaching your time is your options are a fluffy b dark c clear d bright what would be your answer among these four to fill the blank all right your time is starts now okay students time up let's see the question now fill in the blank the sky was filled with dash clouds signaling that a storm was approaching options are fluffy dark clear and bright now what we have to do we have to fill the blank with the right option so the sky was filled with dash clouds signaling that a storm was approaching what would be your answer to fill the correct option in this blank so the correct answer is option b dark all right that the sky was filled with dark cloud signaling that a storm was approaching so option b here is the right answer all right some common synonyms and suffix suffix is and affix which is placed after the stem of the word all right after the stem of the word prefix means word that we affix before the stem of the word before the stem of the word and suffix is an affix which is placed after the stem of the word all right just keep in your mind what is suffix and what is prefix prefix is an affix we used to placed uh, before the stem of the word all right and suffix is an affix we use to place after the stem of the word one thing more that prefix found antonyms that is opposite and suffix form synonyms that is same word clear 
okay synonym a word with the same or similar meaning to another word able or able suitable acceptable comfortable valuable sensible horrible possible incredible these are the suffix these are the suffix all right placed placed uh, uh, before the or sorry after the stem of a word let's find out the word with their synonym and antonyms afraid the synonym of afraid is petrified and the antonyms of afraid is valiant clear then begin the synonym of begin is commence and the antonyms of begin is terminate the word is true the synonym of true is authentic and antonyms of true is bogus the word abundant abundant you can say synonyms of abundant is plentiful and antonyms of abundant is scarce he had to return let's talk about the sentence we can use by these words so he had to return it as promised even knowing it was a bogus rule okay so bogus means what bogus is the antonyms of true all right bogus rule the wedding commenced at 11:30 commenced means see here commenced is the synonyms of begin all right that means same meaning to start like all right i was petrified when i was robbed at gun point what is the meaning of petrified is the synonym of afraid that means something happened and uh, which is terrified all right so i was petrified when i was robbed at gun point choose the correct option choose the correct option so here are small exercise for you all so what we have to do is we have to choose the correct option among these sentences all right so we are in the middle of a heat streak or wave it has been very hot for two weeks what would be your answer among these two which one is the correct option all right i give you 10 second to answer this question all right students time up so let's have a look so wave is the right answer that means we are in the middle of a heat wave it has been very hot for two weeks all right okay choose the correct option it looks like the sun is shining and clearing up it's going to be a beautiful day i give you 10 second to answer this question or choose one among these two shining or clearing all right students time up so let's have a look the clearing is the right answer that is it looks like the sky is clearing up it's going to be a beautiful day choose the correct option that man was struck or beaten by lightning twice in the past year okay i give you 10 second to choose among these two which one is the correct all right student time up so here is the answer struck that man was struck by lightning twice in the past year a dot a draft is a long period without any rain which one is the correct among these two i gave you 10 second to answer this question
ok students time up so correct answer is dot all right a dot is a long period without any rain we got caught in the thunderstorm and got completely soaked and soaked all right so which one is the correct answer here we got caught in the thunderstorm and got completely soaked or soaked your time starts now to choose among these two i give you 10 second to answer this question all right students so let's have a look in the answer so we got got in the thunderstorm and got completely shocked so do you can how to improve vocabulary now one question is there how you can improve your vocabulary keep a dictionary and theorist ready b use a journal c using the internet d learn a word a day e go back to roots f play some fun games g engage in conversation and h is a practice so these are some these are wait on let me change the color okay these are some points by which you can improve your vocabulary all right and by using or by enhance your vocabulary you will be intelligent you will analyze your critical and analytical thinking and you will called as a wise person because you can connect globally if your vocabulary is good that is why we need to enhance our vocabulary clear so how to improve your by how you can improve your vocabulary first one is keep a dictionary and theorists ready then use a journal all right when we know that it, this is the word which have new meaning and something very new word okay so then use a journal write that word all right okay using the internet you can use internet for vocabulary for uh, enhance your vocabulary then learn a word a day all right just learn one word every day every uh, new word every day all right go back to roots okay back back to roots means is it derived from latin word or is it derived from greek word because half of the words in english english language are derived from either from latin language or either from greek language all right play some fun games related to vocabulary all right then engage in conversation means communicate with your friends with your close ones where you are comfortable to enhance your vocabulary all right then practice practice is this that you can uh, learn a word a day keep a dictionary keep a journal and then you can enhance your vocabulary clear okay all right students one more question is there fill in the blank she was so tired that she dashed asleep as soon as her head hit the pillow all right so what would be your answer among these four to fill this blanks your options are jumped ran fell woke what would be your answer your time starts now she was so tired that she dashed asleep as soon as her head hit the pillow all right students time up so she was so tired that she dashed asleep as soon as her head hit the pillow all right options are jumped ran fell woke so the correct answer for this blank is option c fell all right so option c here is the right answer
ओके सो दिस इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ऑल हाउ डू यू हाउ यू लाइक दिस क्लास हैप्पी क्वाइट गुड सेटिस्फेक्ट्री और कंफ्यूज टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ all right students time up so thank you very much i hope you like this class okay so today in this class we have talk about vocabulary all right so vocabulary by knowing the vocabulary you can communicate globally all right just summarize this uh, whole session uh in few minutes all right so what we have talk about in this chapter or in this uh, session that vocabulary is nice to communicate globally if your vocabulary is good you can communicate with anyone that is why you will need to and every one should enhance their vocabulary all right then the third is how you can improve your vocabulary by reading right by a word a day use a journal all right practice communicate with your close ones and that's how you can improve your vocabulary all right all right and after this we uh, understand many words with their meaning all right we understand that if we want to enhance our vocabulary we know the roots of the word where they are come from all right where they are derived from like from latin word or from uh, greek word because many of the word in english language they are from greek or either gre uh, greek word or either from latin language clear so these are some points how you can improve your vocabulary all right so that is all for today's class i hope you like this class all right so we'll meet in the next class till then bye bye take care and have a good day